Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Cut from Sarah Tizit. We're going to be bringing you regular information about uh, highlights and uh, exciting developments from the world of Sarah Tizit. Uh, my name is Brian Lorenzen. I'll be your host. Uh, today, I have two very special guests with me, uh, Dr. Uwe Schleinkofer and Lothar Schmid. These are our experts in the topic that we're going to be diving into today of high dynamic turning, HDT for short, with free turn tools from Sarah Tizit. Uh, this is a really exciting new development that has come out from Sarah Tizit. Uh, it's something that we're hoping will change uh, the turning industry completely. We want it to revolutionize uh, the industry as far as turning is concerned. Uh, a really, really interesting new development. So let's jump right in. Um, Uwe, what, are, what exactly is free turn? Please explain it to me. Uh, how, what is the concept behind it? Yeah, the concept is that we... Uh, change basically everything in turning. Uh, in turning, norm normally your, your force is getting perpendicular to the uh, tool axis uh, inside uh, the, the turn tool. And we, we tilt that or we change that completely. So we are now uh, um, 90 degrees to the cutting process and we can change the approach angle of the tool uh, during the application all the time. It's a little bit difficult to describe that without a picture to you, but there are a lot of YouTube videos and you can uh, look that up uh, in, uh, in, in, in the internet, of course. And the thing is that we um, eliminate the restrictions of the turning completely so you can have much more free space to improve your cutting process in turning like it's developed in other applications as well, like milling, for example. So we try to remove the dust of the turning process and make it modern, make it more efficient, and make it more usable for our customers, basically. So traditionally, you're stuck with that classic approach to turning, working with a fixed angle where you can put your cutting tool insert at a fixed angle. And with free turn, we're creating the option using the mill spindle on a turn mill center, where you can adjust the uh, approach angle or the cutting angle, not only before the cut, but also during the cut. I mean, that's opening up a whole world of options that previously haven't been available to uh, the turning industry. Um, where did this idea come from? How did Sarah Tizit, a tool manufacturer, come up with an idea like free turn? How does that kind of play out? Lothar, I think I would uh, suggest that you give an information with regard to that, if you like. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, to be honest, the idea is not really new. Um, a couple of years ago, we had already an idea which is uh, very similar to what we see now with the free turn or the, the uh, HDT technology. This was called compact turning, means um, change direction of turning, more or less. So the basic idea is still a couple of years old, but let me say this way of doing the high dynamic turning uh, technology is really new. We uh, presented it at the AMB as a real new technology um, with um, the knowledge that the world of turning is a very, let me say, um, old style, conservative, uh, conservative, conservative yeah. Yeah. exactly, uh, conservative um, area. And um, to change this um, 100 year or even more than 100 year old technology to a very new way of uh, thinking. That's a very difficult thing. But the basic idea is to have a flexibility which was not seen in turning since uh, 150 years, let me say. I mean, okay, if you cool. Look, uh, if you look in a turning catalog, for example, you see a huge amount of different tool holders for different approach angles, for different uh, styles of inserts, for a left and right application, for example. So uh, when you look at that catalog, you, you see directly the problem because you have need different tools for each application. And this is a little bit the target with the approach of HTT and the free turn tools to eliminate that, to reduce it to a very few amount of tools which can 
uh, accomplish all the different applications at the same tool system. Yeah, I mean, that brings me right into my next uh, question. Uh, and obviously, uh, that being one of the major potential benefits of using high dynamic turning with free turn tools is obviously the reduction of the amount of tools needed to turn any given type of part or a workpiece. Um, that's just one of the major potential benefits. Uh, what are some of the other major benefits associated with this technology? Yeah, we uh, mentioned that already. You are able to change the tool characteristics inside the chip process. And this is brand new. It's never done before. You are in the cut and during the cut, you can change the whole cutting process by changing the approach angle. With that, you generate different loads. You generate different chip formation. You generate Dif uh, different um, chip movement. So you can also control where the chip is flowing during the application. All these things with, in combination with cutting force, in combination with wear, you are completely free to adjust and to improve your cutting process during the cutting process itself. So major increases in Flexibility, which leads to major increases in productivity and efficiency, obviously, with your machining process. I mean, you're reducing the amount of tools you need. You're, adjust, you're able to adjust. If I'm getting a bad chip, a long chip that's damaging my workpiece, I have at least the ability without changing the tool and looking for a new tool. Uh, I can just make an adjustment in my programming and see a, a new result immediately. I mean, that sounds like yeah. a, a major, major benefit in the turning mode. Keep into mind when you're running against the shoulder and you have a fixed approach angle, your chip is uh, very long, very broad, very thin, and this mm -hmm. is destroying your workpiece surface all the time. And this problem exists still, the turning is there when you're running against the shoulder. Now you change the approach angle and suddenly you have immediately good chip formation no damage of the surface, nothing. So uh, it's it's brand new. Sometimes you even not pos it's even not possible to run against the shoulder because you need to change from a left to a right too. In this case, just change it. It's very simple, and then you can run uh, your process on the on the shoulder. This is a big advantage. So Lothar, yeah. you mentioned earlier that we're dealing obviously with a very conservative uh, turning industry. Obviously, when any kind of technology is so deeply embedded into the industry uh, for so many years, uh, like turning, um, I imagine there are some challenges with uh, implementing a, a new technology, new tooling systems like this to the market. Um, how is, uh, you know, what are some of the challenges or, or what are potentially machine manufacturers or CAD CAM providers, what are we doing to try and get high dynamic turning implemented and accepted into the market? Uh, let me start with this point. Uh, when we presented it at the AMB two years ago or uh, close to two years ago, um, it was a new idea and um, the machine builders, but also the CAD CAM providers were not, um, um, prepared to deal with this new technology because uh, it's absolutely new in the turning area. Of course, they know a lot of uh, interesting um, deals with um, systems in milling, but in turning, it was absolutely new. And this is maybe the most uh, important challenge we have um, to get the machine builders and the CAD CAM providers and the um, control system um, guys into our idea of doing the new turning process. So let me say we, it's not typical for a, for a, a tool uh, manufacturer to be the first uh, at, at the market. So in this case, we are really um, starting with a technology which was not known uh, up to this point. Um, I mean, we and we are in contact. We got Sorry. some incredible partners already involved, obviously. I, exactly. I know we're working with DMG, we're working with Mazak, yeah. uh, a lot of the big names in the tool manufacturing game, as well as on the software side, uh, Hypermill and with Esprit and some of the other big CAM -CAM, CAD CAM providers. Um, 
I guess, uh, you know, we're open to work with anyone. We, we want them to, you know, we want to help them provide solutions for cu their customers, you know, get them to implement uh, this, uh, you know, highly beneficial technology and uh, get them to, uh, you know, get the demand for high dynamic turning with free turn tools out there on the market, right? And basically, exactly. Luther referred to the status we had uh, during the first introduction of the technology. And uh, th then ex th exactly that happened, what Lothar said. So we have to bring everybody together. And then we made the really good decision to say, okay, we are completely open. Let's do it together. Let's do it with the software developers. Let's do it with the CAD CAM system developers. Let's do it with the control unit developers. Let's do it with the machine builders. We invite every, of course, the customers, most important. So we invite everybody to us, to our system, and let's develop that together. It's like comparable to the introduction of the smartphone. Without the software and the infrastructure, the smartphone is not usable. It's yep. the same with HPD and with Freeterm. We That's need a great comparison. The, the package, basically. Yeah. I mean, obviously, these turn mill centers are also they've been around for a while um, and, you know, machine shops have have them in their shops often, but they're not taking advantage of them to their fullest ability. And with free turn from Ceratizit, I mean, that's really a system that maximizes the potential these machines have. And, uh, you know, I guess that's a, a really cool way. I mean, obviously, we had here at Ceratizit a machine in our innovation center and, you know, you're looking at this machine and seeing what, what could we do with this or what could we develop to maximize the use of this. And once you get a, you know, a development like this, uh, it, it's really exciting to, to bring it to the market and explain it uh, to, you know, customers and to partners in the industry. Um, you know, we've gotten a ton of really good feedback. Uh, we've won multiple innovation awards. Um, I mean, the, the market interest is enormous. Um, you know, this is a big, you know, for a, a research and development department, obviously, um, Uwe, you are the, the head of uh, R&D for the Saratiz group. Um, what it's, you know, how is it bringing something like this to the market? Like, how is that uh, process kind of take place and how does it look? Honestly, uh, we, we never had such an ambitious project before because here we don't develop a cutting tool. We develop the future in turning, basically. So it's, it's, it's a very ambitious project and we learn every day. Uh, Lothar, you will agree, I think. <laughs> For sure. And, and uh, it's, it's from, from the start a big surprise. You mentioned uh, the, the tests in our innovation center here. So we put the tool inside a, a turn mill machine, a multipurpose machine, and we expected a, a catastrophic failure. And uh, the f even the first test was immediately a success because the cutting force was going perpendicular in the tool. And we, we, we realized immediately, wow, something is different here. You can hear it, the, the noise, everything is different during that process. And from that point on, uh, this was a step-by-step -step, uh, improving process with a lot of surprises, a lot of positive surprises. A lot of drawbacks, of course, of course, as well. But it, it was always dynamic and like the high dynamic turning. So the, the project is like the name of the process, basically. It's exactly the same. I mean, Lothar, you can agree when we put the tool first time in, in the machine, it was a, a huge surprise for us. Of course, of course. Um, let me say, uh, in this project, everything changed uh, to the typical projects we do in our research area. Uh, but let me let me let me summarize it. Um, uh, we we have a lot of customers here in our innovation center to to show this uh, new technology, and the overall answer of all the customers: cool idea, really cool idea, perfect thing, absolutely flexible absolutely new a revolution so that's exactly what we what we have heard from all our customers we showed this technology so i think this is the, the most uh, important thing to get back uh, in in this very ambitious um, project of course yes yeah that's obviously very encouraging as a research and develop 
department department to get that type of feedback obviously is is the goal and uh yeah we've we've made yeah. huge strides uh since uh the product has been released um you know we're we're making developments daily we're working with industry partners um the free turn tools are available um for purchase or um for testing purposes uh we ask that you get in touch with your uh you know local ceratizid representative um, they can provide uh, tools and a demo case for testing the, and you know we provide as much support and assistance as we possibly can uh, in order to get uh, you know more information about free turn and high dynamic turning and analyzing the potential for any given production really. Um, check out our uh, website, um, cuttingtools.saratizit.com. There you can find uh, additional information on the technology. Um, there's, uh, and like I said, uh, just feel free to reach out. You can reach out to freeturn at saratizit.com if you have an inquiry or a question or if you're interested at all. Um, reach out to us. Let us know. Saratizit is, is here to help uh, and uh, we'll do our best uh, to make sure that you receive all the the, the information. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today on uh, The Cut. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, also, you know, from my perspective, super exciting uh, to, to be part of the launch of a new technology like this. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks again. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys next time on The Cut from Sarah Tizit. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thank thanks, you. guys. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.